Modern factory planning is done virtual in 3D. But why? Is it just a trend or does it make sense? This and another video provide answers to the following questions. What are the advantages of virtual 3D planning? How does virtual 3D planning help to make companies even more successful? This video explains the benefits with a practical story. The second video gives you a detailed list of reasons why factories should be planned virtual in 3D. Let's imagine the following situation for illustration. The managing director of a medium-sized company recognizes the need to expand production capacity. He wants to start immediately with the implementation. He makes an appointment with the CAD draftswoman. The manager has already developed concrete ideas. But the ideas are only in his head. So he verbally tries to explain his ideas. It is very difficult for the CAD draftswoman to really understand the ideas of the manager. Finally the trial and error method returns a result. But both require a lot of time, more than previously thought. The CAD draftswoman is very satisfied with the plan. The manager is not really satisfied with the result, because in his opinion the 2D plan is too abstract and does not really match the ideas he has in his head. But he thinks it will fit and he hopes that his employees will perhaps be able to understand and interpret the plan better than he could himself. The managing director invites one of his investors, his architect, his planner and the production manager to the kickoff meeting for the project. All are very motivated and are happy about the manager's idea to expand the factory. The manager presents the CAD drawing and tries to explain his thoughts. According to his ideas, the planned extension contains a new production area, a new storage area and a new break room. Unfortunately, those invited cannot really interpret the CAD plan very well. This is due to the fact that 2D drawings are strongly abstracted compared to reality. Factory planning projects always involve people from different departments, each with a different focus. This is also the case in our fictitious example. Each participant only hears what is important to him personally and interprets the information according to his own thoughts. Afterwards, each one of the team makes their own thoughts. The investor wants the profits to continue flowing strongly and he wants to invest as little as possible. Therefore he imagines a low-budget version of the extension. The production facility is located near the equator, so only a very simple steel construction without fixed walls is necessary, this is very flexible and can be used elsewhere or rented out later. He also sees no need to invest in expensive production and logistics technology. There are enough employees in the production plant and many unused work tables where the employees can manually manufacture the production. Besides, the work tables can be used for the break, which is very practical. Therefore the investor plans only a small budget for the extension. The planner is interested in technology. In his opinion automation can save a lot of personnel costs. Thus he interprets the 2D CAD plan exactly in a different direction than the investor. He imagines a solution with robots and automated conveyor and storage technology without employees. This also means that no break room is needed, so even more can be saved. He is enthusiastic about this idea. He inquires with manufacturers of production and logistics technology and asks them to provide him with indicative offers so that he can present something at the next meeting. The architect has a modern and functional building in mind. She is not so well acquainted with production and logistics technology. In her opinion, a roof terrace is best suited as a break room. She believes she has understood that the space for the extension should continue to be used as a parking lot, which she thinks makes a lot of sense. On this basis the architect thinks up a building concept and creates a simple cardboard model for the next meeting. The foreman is very happy about the idea of the break room. He understood that the break room would finally provide the long-hoped for company canteen for all employees of the production site in the annex. Thus, he interprets the plan in such a way that approximately half of the area is planned for the new canteen. He sees the need to develop a new break and shift calendar for the entire production site. He is preparing two proposals for this and would like to present them at the next meeting. After some time the team comes together in a meeting to continue working on the project. 
Everyone is looking forward to the meeting. Everyone would like to present their own thoughts and ideas. The investor presents his plan and budget. It absolutely does not fit with the ideas of the managing director. Afterwards the planner presents his solution and shows the offers and calculations for production and logistics technology. This solution points exactly in another direction compared to the solution of the investor. The managing director is very dissatisfied. Then the architect presents her solution with the parking lot under the new building and shows the cardboard model. Unfortunately the parking lot was a misunderstanding or misinterpretation, unsatisfied looks of the managing director. Finally, the foreman presents his solution with the company canteen and his new break and shift calendar. The manager and the others are very surprised and would not have expected the foreman to interpret the plan in such a way. In the end, everyone understood the plan differently, because the 2D plan is too abstract and allows for different interpretations. So everyone worked in different directions. A lot of time was wasted and the project was delayed. Everyone involved is now frustrated and demotivated. Even if the example is a bit exaggerated, the limitations of 2D planning should become clearly. The advantages of 3D planning can easily be deduced from this example. The 3D planning results in a significantly higher transparency for all parties involved. Thus results in a higher planning quality. Cultural, linguistic and technical barriers do not play any role. The language of the 3D model is universal. In our example, if a 3D model had been created right at the beginning, even a very simple one, then everyone would have spoken the same language and would have designed an identical or similar model in their minds. There would have been no misunderstandings, a lot of time and money would have been saved and everyone would have remained motivated and the project would have been much further developed by the time of the second meeting. This was the short story to develop a basic understanding of the subject. The second video gives you a detailed list of reasons why factories should be planned in 3D, you should watch this in any case.